Hi, um, in last tutorial I showed you how to install and configure DVWA. Uh, reason we uh, install DVWA is to do some practice on different web application vulnerabilities. Uh, so this tutorial will be the first um, of this series where uh, we'll go through with different vulnerabilities and we will see some uh, ways of exploiting different vulnerabilities. Very first vulnerability I will be talking about here just simple uh, command injection. So uh, you use any sort of vulnerability uh, presence within a uh, web application and you try to execute the commands through that vulnerability into the server. Uh, let's go through with the uh, task and um, as I explained, oh, hopefully this will be quite an uh, easy session to understand. Now before uh, we start the actual task, uh, please uh, go back and open your DVWA uh, website. Uh, so the address was 127001DVWA. Uh, you may have a different folder name. Uh, when you are there, please use the username admin password was password and i'm clicking on login and this is our dbwa website as we have seen on previous tutorial now dbwa as mentioned earlier uh, is the web application developed uh, for practice purpose people like um, you and me who wants to try number of different um, exploitation vulnerability analysis we want to use dbwa uh, very fast before I move on with our first task which will be command injection I want you to uh, click on this tab which is DVWA security this website has been developed for uh, all different groups of people now when you open this website for the first time your security setup will be on impossible level I want uh, to uh, make sure you change this because uh, when you are starting as um, investigator where you are starting your career as pen tester you don't know much about um, security really uh, you need to have uh, start working with some basic vulnerabilities and um, I can assure you that there are hundreds of websites out there um, which does have this sort of simple vulnerabilities and even the big um, big names also does have silly vulnerabilities many times uh, so what I want you to do when you are logged in please click on DVWA security and very first thing you do please click on low and then click on submit what this will do this DVWA website uh, security will be set up onto low level uh, therefore there will be a number of vulnerabilities what we can try to exploit um, so that we can learn uh, without having this uh, security setup as low everything I'm going to show you now will not work and a few other uh, lessons what will be uh, coming uh, in next few days uh, okay so I'm assuming that you did set up uh, your DBWS security as low. Now we have number of different types of um, uh, vulnerabilities here which has been left intentionally. Uh, brute force you understand I believe um, uh, what brute force attack is. Uh, I'm not talking about brute force attack uh, here specifically at least uh, for this tutorial um, there will be few other tutorials on brute force uh, I will start with command injection that's uh, could be quite simple uh, at least what I will show you now will be simple uh, but that will be very crucial for you to have the basic understanding about command line or um, uh, this sort of attack so let's move on to command line injection when you click on command line injection you see that um, this is just giving us a screen where um, we could uh, ping a device so in theory if you know what are the devices you're supposed to have there uh, you enter the IP address of one of those device and if that device is online if that device is working then uh, it's supposed to uh, reply your ping uh, so let's have a quick 
try uh, what happens with this. I'm entering an IP address 192.168.0.1 and I'm clicking on uh, submit. So what will happen uh, at the moment it's saying um, that no ping reply from here. Why did I pick up uh, this? Really um, no reason. I just picked up a number. Oh sorry, it's got the uh, ping reply from 192.168.0.1. Fine. Uh, now I picked up this device. Uh, this device is something within my network and um, we got the reply from that device but actually my intention wasn't um, to get the ping reply why do i want to have a ping reply from uh, a website um, probably that's not my intention at least that's not my intention for this particular task the reason you could enter any ip address really it doesn't matter any ip address my intention was to check what is the source code and what happens here now dvwa does give you the source code um, um, here directly uh, but you know how you can see the source code um, of this web page uh, by using any tools uh, hundreds of uh, different tools out there or any browser will allow you to see the source code as well um, what dvwa will do if you look at the view source it will just focus on the particular thing because I think you got the understanding that whatever we will try to do for this particular task we are trying to do something with this particular area not the whole website there are some vulnerabilities within this area wherever there is a form there is a risk of having any sort of vulnerability simply because this form is taking some of my information and executing that information um, within the server or just taking the information to the server therefore me as user having the opportunity to talk to the server by using this form which always can leave some sort of vulnerabilities here and there especially if security has not been considered on the time of development so what we want to do now we want to see the source code of only this particular area uh, so just to have a better understanding and to see if we can do any sort of exploitation there so let's click on view source and what you can see that's the source code of that area only um, quite a few things I don't want you to go through with everything unless you are uh, good with programming I want you to look at only this area well two, two of this area if the main server was Windows wherever you are running this application if this application was running on a Windows machine then this was the command but if this machine is running on a Linux machine then this is the command so we are running this application on our Kali Linux I hope you remember that therefore our concentration is here now what this thing is saying it is telling us do a shell execution if someone send a ping command so this is actually taking our command as ping it will reply four times it will try to reply four times so uh, as you can see when i pinged 192.168.0.1 i got four reply and this is the um, uh, this is the place where it's saying that just reply four uh, four times and then take the target from user input uh, so this was the target field where I entered this IP address 192.168.0.1 and the whole um, whole shell execution took place. It just executed a simple command. But what I'm more interested that where it end the first um, first command there is a semicolon and after that semicolon. Um, there could be something more what it's suggesting that do the shell execution this is the first command whatever we are doing ping command and then there is a semicolon after the semicolon there could be something else whoever developed this program 
they left this as a vulnerable point so let me show you how this vulnerability could be exploited if i say 192.168.0.1 that was the if i take you over there again uh, so that was up to this i did set up the target 192.168.0.1 after that i got a semicolon after the semicolon i can run certain execution maybe i can try to run certain commands after this semicolon uh, just one command it will allow me to run right now so let's see if i have a semicolon here and i tried pwd before you remember present working directory if i click on pwd click on submit and let's see what happens first command executed for a reply i had from 192.168.0.1 which was actually my first request so this was the first part right and then i had a semicolon semicolon suggested okay that was end of the first command and i have added pwd which is the second command should to show me the present working directory and see the second command where it has executed it's telling me uh, this whole thing is executing from slash var www html dbwa you i believe you remember this whole path this is the path where we did copy DB, dvwa and um, install this whole application uh, on that path it is giving me the path what it should not be let's try something more we could say um, i am um, if config if we wanted to know the ip address of that uh, server machine i have config clicked on submit and bingo we can see the ip address of the server machine just by giving that one command uh, we can find out few more interesting thing i was checking this 192.168.0.1 and i said okay show me the contents by using cat uh, cat is the uh, file reader i did use and i asked to show me the contents of slash etc uh, password pawswd which would keep the um, record of hashed um, password for individual users and then you can see number of different users other details about um, each of those users quite a scary things to do um, so quick summary all i did i went to command line injection i tried to find out the source code and then from the source code i saw that if it was a, a linux machine then it is doing a shell execution of ping command for four replies that's fine after that i found this semicolon and uh, after the semicolon i could uh, have different uh, commands to run through this see it could be really um, um, dangerous for any web application if um, a typical user can start seeing other users information just by running a cat command and seeing all the uh, important files um, so this is just a, a simple introduction of command line injection uh, i will request you to uh, try whatever the information you can find from uh, this particular server uh, remember this dvwa was installed on your local machine so whatever you uh, can see from your local kali linux you supposed to be able to see that by using this command line injection uh, this may not be the case for uh, any good website now most probably they all do have a good security department but still you will find hundreds of vulnerable websites uh, which will have such kind of command uh, injection it's just worth trying as penetration tester uh, thank you i hope you understood the whole concept i will see you on next tutorial thanks